I've read the fiery gospel written Burnished rows of steel As you deal with my condemner So with you my grace shall deal Let the hero born of woman Crush the serpent with his heel Since God is marching on All right, kids, are you ready for some Bible study? Yeah. Yeah? Hold up those Bibles. What is the Bible? The Word of God. Yes. Will you ever let anybody tell you differently? No. No way. Okay. Jacob, I noticed you lost a tooth there, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, we are going to study Revelation chapter what, Lucy? Yes, good job. What verse, Jacob? 7. 14, verse 7. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to read the verse before that. What verse is before 7? What comes before 7, Lucy? Um, what number comes before 7? 4. Jacob? 6. 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, I'm going to read the verse before that because we're going to get a message from a special angel. Okay, so Revelation 14, verse 6, and it reads, I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven. Where's heaven, Lucy? It's up there, right? It's not down there, is it? No. Okay, so there's an angel flying up there having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on earth and to every nation, kindred, tongue, and people. What is the gospel? Do you guys know what that is? Gospel means the good news, or it means the truth. Okay, so this angel is flying in the heaven, and he's got the everlasting what? Gospel. Yeah. And he's going to proclaim it to the entire world. This angel says the whole world, he has a message for the whole world. Okay, to every person. Is that, does that mean, does that include the Russians? Yeah. How about the people in South America? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the message is for them too. So this, this angel's flying around the whole earth, and he's got a message for them. How about Africa? Yeah. Yep, that's Africa. How about Europe? Yeah. Yep. How about China? Yeah. 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 It's the messages for everybody. And we're going to find out in part what that message is. Are you ready to read it together up here? Mm -hmm. All right. This is what the angel said, okay? Saying with a loud voice. Did he say it quietly? Did he say, hey, everybody, I got the gospel for you? No. No. He said with a loud voice. Angels, a lot of times, God's angels talk pretty loud, don't they? But does he do it to us? Well, uh, sometimes uh, angels come and, and will talk loud to people, but sometimes if God sends an angel, like, uh, to comfort somebody, then they're really gentle, okay? But when they have a message for the whole world, a lot of times they, they say things pretty loud, okay? Because yeah. people need to listen, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to speak loud so people will listen. Lucy's good at that sometimes, aren't you? <laughs> okay. All right. Saying with a loud voice, fear God. What, do, what does it mean to fear God? I don't know. Should we be scared of him? No, but fear means we love him and we respect him. But it does mean that we fear the consequences of our actions. That means... We don't want to steal, right? Mm -hmm. Lie, cheat, all the, we don't want to break any of the Ten Commandments, right? No. Because we fear God's punishment, mm -hmm. okay? But Jesus, um, it, when we tell him we're sorry and we believe in Jesus, he forgives us, right? But if somebody doesn't believe in Jesus, guess what? They better fear God because something is coming. All right, you ready for this? Fear God and give glory to him. Should we give glory to the beast? No. Should we give glory to other people? No. How about singers? No. 
Rock stars. No. Movie stars. No. Um, cartoon characters. No. No, we give it to God. How about fake princesses? No. No, we give it to God, right? Give glory to him. For the hour of his judgment is come. What is judgment? When you judge somebody when they do something wrong. Yes. And even if they do something right. Okay? But in this case, it's, it's what he, he's going to give punishments. Mm -hmm. He's going to say, you guys broke the rules. Now you're going to have to pay the price because you won't listen. God's gonna, that's what the angel's saying to the whole world. He's saying, you better start fearing God because his judgment is coming. Mm -hmm. You know, we fear that judgment, right? Mm -hmm. Because, and, and then we don't want to do what's wrong because we don't want to be judged, right? Mm -hmm. That's why we study the Bible and we believe in Jesus because we don't want to get the judgment. Remember this? Whose scroll is this? I think this one's, is this one Daddy's? Okay, remember this scroll? Remember the scroll we talked about it yeah. a little while back? Well, this is called the this scroll has the judgments in it that God's going to send on the earth. Mm -hmm. He's going to send a, a, a horseman with a bow, a horseman with a sword to bring war. Then he's going to a horseman that has balances in his hand. And death and famine and blood and all kinds of stuff. There Except that we, yep, yep, there was a blood moon there, wasn't there? So in that scroll tells all the punishment. It's just like if you guys did something wrong and you weren't respecting your mother and father. Yeah. It's just like if Daddy said, "Okay, I'm going to write your punishments down in a scroll," and if you don't tell me you're sorry, this is what you're going to get. Okay, that wouldn't be fun, would it? All right. So the angel has that message. He says, fear God for the hour of his judgment. That means it's time. You know, it's gonna, sometimes it's too late. Mm -hmm. Once somebody doesn't say they're sorry, it's going to be too late. The judgment's coming. Okay, ready? And worship him that made heaven. Who made heaven? God. Yes. What does it mean to worship? To serve him, right? To love him, to adore him, to think about him. What happens if you're thinking about movie stars? Or you're thinking about singers all the time? No one thinks. Does that worshiping them? Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to bow down and say, oh, movie stars. No, but if you spend all your mind and your attention on movie stars, TV stars, rock stars, musicians, that becomes worship, right? Yeah. When you're thinking about them all the time. Okay, so he says, Worship him that made heaven and the earth and the sea and the fountains of the waters. So God made everything, didn't he? How many days, Lucy? Lucy, how many days did it take God to make the heaven and the earth? Seven. Six days. You see this? He rested on the seventh. Okay, we're going to go over each day real quick, okay? What did he create on the first day? The sun. No. Nice. The light. His spirit moved and he brought light. He said, let there be light. And, and then there was light. And then there was light. Yeah. All he has to do is say something and it happens. Isn't that neat? So, what if you imagine if, if you just said something that happened and it happened? Yeah, but we're not God, are we? So we can't just say it and have it happen. But God can. That's why. He, that's one reason why He's so special. Okay. So this light wasn't the sun. It was a spiritual light. Yeah. And our the like spirit, the candle. Yep, the spirit. Like the yeah, like being a candlestick. The spiritual light is who? Who's God. the light of the world? God. Yeah, Jesus, right? Yeah. He's the light of the world. Okay, so, yes, Lucy. Um, the light, it's not a real light. It's not like a candle. It's not like a real candle. Not like a real 
like a burning. Yeah, well, this this spiritual light was probably real light and spiritual light in the, on the first day. So let's go to day number two. Does anybody recognize this word? Mm. Heaven. Oh, heaven. Yep, God made the heaven on day the heaven on day two. That that includes the sky. And the trees. And everything past the sky. Yeah, yep. and oh, 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 that's day three. Day three, God made the grass mm -hmm. and the trees. Uh -huh. And all the green things that grow outside. Mm -hmm. Yep. Day four, he made the sun, moon, and the stars. Okay, that's the and different the light. Sun. Yep, the sun, moon, and the stars. See, sun, moon, and the stars. What day was that? Four. Four. Do we worship the sun, moon, and stars? No. Do we worship the trees? No. Do we go outside and hug trees and say, I love you, tree, I want to be a tree? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do we look at the moon and say, oh, moon, I want to be part of you? <coughs> no. Did you know there are people that do silly stuff like that? That's true. They don't want to be a part of the moon. Oh. <laughs> All right. Day five. He made the fish. He made the fish, right? And all the creatures in the sea. Mm -hmm. All right. What day is this, Lucy? Six. Six. And he made the persons. Yes. He, and the horses. Yep. He made the animals and the people. Animals and people. And then, on the he, and then on the seventh day, he rests. Yep. What, what are we made in the image of? God, right? Yeah. That is pretty cool. We are his children. Yeah. Yes. All right, and on the seventh day, he rested. So how many days did, did God create the heavens and the earth? How many days did it take him? Six. Yes. Like, when he rested, he goes... Did he, did he take a little nap? Well, I don't know. We know he rested, though, didn't he? Yeah. And you know what he did after he made everything? Yeah. He looked at it and he said, yep, this is pretty good. Yep, he enjoyed all of his creation. It was all good. Mm -hmm. And then later on, it became bad. But that's another story for another time. Do you guys have any questions? No. All right. What does fear mean? Should we fear God? No. Should we be scared of him? No. No, unless we don't want, unless we don't read his Bible and unless we don't believe in Jesus, then you better be scared. Because his... Hour of what is coming? Judgment. Judgment. Do we worship the creation or who? Or who? We worship God. We worship yeah. God. Yeah. All right. Good yeah. job, kids. Yeah, we don't worship the trees. That's silly, huh? Yeah, we don't go outside. Hug the trees. I love you, trees. I love your tree. Yeah, I want to be part of a tree. Okay. I want to have your own tree. I want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Hold up those Bibles, kids. Okay. Let's let's hold up those Bibles, kids. You ready, Lucy? Yeah. What is the Bible? The Word of God. Do we live our lives by this or something else? We live by this. Yes. Amen. Christian Overcomers is brought to you by the tithes and offerings of our listeners. If you'd like to support our ministry, please go to. ChristianOvercomers.com God bless you and thank you for your support. My eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He is loose the faithful lightning of his terrible sword. His truth is marching on.